hi guys seeing as I need a geocache in Ontario I thought I'd uh, go for another one here um, in uh, in Ottawa let me just show you on the phone I'll put this down okay this one's called resting in woods cemetery it's across the street from me I'm parked in a, a visitors parking area so let's start going Okay, it looks like it's across this busy street here. Okay, the blue dot shows I'm almost right on top of it. And there's a light pole here. Light standard. It might be on there. So, it's micro. So, let me just have a quick search and I'll get back at you here. Okay, I've checked the pole. Underneath. I don't feel any magnetized things on there. I don't see anything. And I don't think it's inside the cemetery uh, grounds. So I'm too far. I've got to carry on this way. Slowly. And we'll see where that dot gets. It usually takes the satellites a little bit of time to catch up. I don't know if you can see that with the reflection and what have you. But this is about sometimes as close as GPS will get. It all depends on cloud cover, uh, tree cover, which I'm under trees right now, power lines, other interference. And like I've moved a little bit and the dot hasn't moved at all. Uh, it won't be inside the fence. There's a fence here. Well, let's start looking on the fence. Start looking in these holes here. You don't want to stick your fingers in there. I don't see anything holding any... There's no, nothing magnetic. Ah, let's try the top of this fence here. Usually these things come off and then they put them inside there nothing there let's go down to the next one aha what's this what is this my friend I am familiar with this thing it is a small container with a small piece of paper inside this is my geocache let me unscrew it open it up I don't know if I can do this with, I can't do this with one hand Oh yeah, I guess I can. There's my little piece of paper I have to sign. So what I'm going to do is sign this and put it back, and then I'll get back at you. Okay, there it is. They painted it the same color as the fence, green. Sorry about all the noise. Like I said, this is a busy street here, busy highway. Uh, and just hung it on the fence, sort of, sort of in plain sight, but when your GPS doesn't take you exactly to the spot. Right now the GPS shows that I'm still a little ways away from it. It could be, like I said, interference that's doing that. And it all depends on how accurate the guy took his uh, coordinates, his coordinate reading. So now what we'll do is, just let me put the phone down here. Ah, it fits right in this pipe up to there okay um, what we'll do here is go back and we'll put log geocache I found it and I'm gonna put my first one in Ontario first cache in Ontario Ottawa and we'll push po 
post. And post says uh, upgrade 2,443 total fines and continue. And it did not give me anything as far as a um, souvenir goes for Ontario, so I must already have one for Ontario somewhere. Hmm. Okay, what's happened here is I found my souvenirs. It's got the one for Quebec. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Quebec. And I don't have one here for Ontario. Now, the GPS works for finding the cash, but I'm, sh I'm thinking that um, it won't put the souvenir on because it might need internet connection for, for some things. So when I get an internet connection, we'll have a look at the phone here and see if it actually gave me the souvenir for Ontario.